Hello, and thanks for watching. This video will be a brief overview and go over the changes made in the 3.0 update to my semi-permanent blood droplet pack available on the Unreal Marketplace. Firstly, I rewrote the BP Droplets controller to use soft references and macros. This reduces the total blueprint size from 300 megabytes down to 300 kilobytes, drastically reducing the spawning speed. I also modified each particle system to have a fixed bounce instead of an infinite bounce. This should assist in resolving the initial hitch some users were experiencing when spawning a particle for the first time in the editor. This also reduces the total amount of code required to achieve the same result and as such the blueprint is now about 5% of the size of what it once was and achieves the exact same result so it's easy to work with and easy to use in your maps or to modify. Uh, so secondly I added a new example map which has a modified first person character controller and a basic enemy AI. These examples show you how to attach the emitters to the skeletal mesh and also how to spawn blood pools when your enemies or players die. This has been heavily requested in the past so I hope it serves as a good foundation for setting up the particle effects in your games. And finally I also did some housekeeping so normal maps and roughness maps are now included for more realistic looking blood decals and the original particles are now named Legacy. Uh, redundant parameters were also removed from the droplets blueprint for just a smoother overall experience. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy this update and using my particles, and if you like, please consider leaving a review, it's a huge help. Thanks.